Tonight, state health officials are sending out a reminder, get your pets vaccinated for the rabies virus. In the past month, two mid-state dogs have contracted rabies, and the health department says these cases could have been prevented. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson is with us. Jesse, it's actually the law that cats and dogs in Tennessee have to get the rabies vaccine. It is, Rory, and most counties require that the vaccination is updated in pets every th three years, and it's all in order to make sure that not only are your pets safe, but that our families are kept safe and our neighbors are kept safe as well. The radio classes are a lot easier. There's nothing like a treat to make a visit to the vet a little more bearable, but Buddy's visit to the vet is a necessary one. He needs to get his rabies vaccine updated. So after being lifted onto the table, he's ready to go. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, no. Nice and quick. Good boy, easy peasy. With that single shot, Buddy has not only protected himself from the rabies virus, but he's also protected his family. It's really important to stay up to date on rabies vaccinations. Dr. Christine Widman says rabies shots are given every day at Murphy Road Animal Hospital. And because of that, very few pets are infected by rabies in Tennessee. We have about five cases of rabies in dogs a year or less. So something that happens and um, it's almost always associated with an animal that's not been vaccinated. In the past month, two dogs were infected with rabies after getting bit by skunks here in Tennessee. Neither of those dogs were up to date on their vaccinations. In general, it's a fatal disease and one that um, we need to take the appropriate precautions to prevent. And while prevention is focused on the animals, once they're infected, they can infect their owners as well. This is a disease that starts with the animals and we want to control it with the animals in order to protect our human population. Unfortunately for our pets, there is no cure. So when they're infected, there's not much you can do. Because of that, vets say there is only one course of action that can keep your animals safe. Get your pet vaccinated and, and make sure they're up to date. It's now, humans can also get the virus by getting bit by wild animals like bats, but it doesn't happen very often. The last human case in Tennessee was back in 2002. Now, to make sure your pets are up to date on their rabies vaccine, go talk to your vet. Rory, back to you.